Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, then welcome. I would love if you would hit that subscribe button down below, click the little bell so you be notified of all my future uploads, and let's go ahead and let's get started. In today's video, we are trying out some different products with an emphasis on copacetic cosmetics. So if you guys remember a haul that I did a little while back, I had made a rather lengthy purchase from copacetic cosmetics on top of the copacetic cosmetics products i have a few other things to try to make somewhat of a full face i don't have everything. you guys are excited to see how well these products work what my thoughts are then definitely keep on watching okay so i primed my eyelids with my nars uh, smudge proof eyeshadow base this is what's in my shop my stash bag so for copacetic cosmetics they have these things that are called like they're called flakies do you see like the thickness of like these shades i do not like them. i do not like those i am not gonna lie that is not my jam um but on the website it says that for an opaque kind of a color or whatever you would just use a glitter glue and then like pack it on because that doesn't look like that that would be like very appeasing to me and then if you want it sheared out you like place it on and then like rub it in so you get kind of something like this i just hate the whole thing i it gets literally everywhere like my hands my fingers my arm literally has glitter all over it i hate that that is not my jam but I will say their other shades are really beautiful. Like they have like some really beautiful like duochrome shimmers. Like those are, they're really nice, really soft, pigmented, like kind of like shades. Like those I'm really into. So then I have um, the Elysion palette. Um, this one only has like one flaky in it and it's actually like a very like nice soft kind of a flaky. So I kind of actually like that one. It's not like super chunky. Um, but here's the color story of that. I was thinking of maybe playing with that. I'm actually going to play with all three, like truthfully, because here's this one, um, which also only has one flaky, but only also has one matte. So I was kind of thinking of like incorporating, if I can open these, like some of like these mattes in with like maybe like, like companions from this. And just kind of seeing what we come up with so that's kind of that's kind of my plan like going like very green with this look so first i'm going to take a ba bh bh8 why does that not sound like a like a thing bh8 i don't know maybe it's like the too much rhyming and i'm just going to take this shade right here this is called broken dreams and this is okay first of all this has like a ton of a kick up in the pan kick up's like not like a deal breaker for me if like it comes out like nice and pigmented but i do find that like it is kind of a deal breaker for me if there is no pigment <laughs> so here we are like first like dunk in and just working on blending it and it does um appear like very pigmented it's not like as vibrant like in the pan I also don't have a white base. You think like Carrington, you have a YouTube channel, you do makeup and you don't have a white base or concealer. Like I honestly truly like thought that I did. Um, but then upon closer inspection, either I got rid of it, it expired or I never had one to begin with. I don't know, because one that I did. Next, I'm going to go into the shade right here called, oh my God, what is this called? spectral and i'm taking this on my bh9 brush i'm just gonna work that a little bit lower in the crease so although these shades do have quite a bit of fallout or kick up i should say um in the pan i don't notice any fallout on the face and i will say that they are one very pigmented and two i think they just like really blend nicely into one another 
So I really like that. I think these are great shadows. I just really hate the flaky shades. Okay, then for outer corner, I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Vines. No, no, it's not. Is it? Yeah, called Vines. This one, again, has just a lot of kick up in the pan. But let's see how pigmented it is. Okay, now that we've used like plenty of mattes, um, mattes, yes. Now that we've used like plenty of like matte shades from um, these two palettes, I am then wanting to use the companion palette specifically for like our like lid shade and our like shiny shades. I'm gonna go into this shade first, which is called Megan. And then I'm gonna like go into this shade, which is called Lexi, and kind of blend those two together. Okay, I am back. This is what the eyes are looking like right now. <sighs> Whew, wow. Yeah, those shimmer shades kill it. Um, these mattes are absolutely beautiful, blend wonderfully together. I am 100% just like impressed with this. Um, Again, I don't like the flakies. The flakies aren't my jam, but like everything else, the mattes, the shimmers, the duochromes are like stunning. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's move on into the complexion. We'll come back in with the eyes because I do want to use, um, do something for like the inner corner, which I want to take like this lightest shade down here, which is like a green kind of chameleon shade. So that's what I'm going to come back and do for that and possibly maybe do some liner and lashes i don't know what i'm gonna do quite yet but let's just go ahead let's jump to the complexion so first up uh we're gonna prime our skin using this essence high beauty right off the bat it is exactly how it says that is that is yellow so let's okay oh um okay listen this is the scent that it smells like, okay? And if you guys know, then you know. But it smells like, do you know like the smell whenever you walk into like a JCPenney, especially like when you come in through like the shoe side, right? Like the JCPenney smell, right? You guys know what I'm talking about? A like JCPenney's has like a smell. That's what this is. It's, it smells like you are walking into a JCPenney's. It is hydrating. It feels kind of like bouncy. I wouldn't say like tacky, like it's not quite like something I would think of as tacky, but it's not like smooth or like powdery either. It's got like a nice like little bounce to it. So now we have the <clears throat> Revlon Candid glow foundation it's a moisture glow anti-pollution foundation so it comes with like a little pump Let's see how much we can get pumped out okay there's like one and a half pumps i hope this shade works for me let's just like see yeah i think that'll be good it does feel slightly thick i don't know i thought for like it saying like light coverage like buildable coverage that it wouldn't feel quite as thick as it does but let's see how well it like blends out and stuff this is like one like one and a half pumps i'm gonna try like another one and a half pumps just to see if maybe we can just get a little bit more coverage so this is taking about three whole pumps to kind of get where we are especially to like really tone down my redness because my cheeks have a lot of like redness. Um, but it doesn't look bad. I will say, I think I really like like this combination. Like my skin like 100% looks like glowy and dewy and I didn't add anything besides like these two products. I mean, I did do my skincare beforehand, but like I didn't do anything revolutionary. Um, I have heard like so many people rave about this. And if you guys remember, I tried this and I have tried different ones and it just smells so like, I don't know, hold on. No, you guys, this, this smells sour. I cannot explain it to you guys. It is like sour paint. And this one smells like it as well. And I don't understand why. 
but it does. It smells like sour paint. So here's the concealer blended out. Okay, let me just like give you my thoughts. It blends out like beautifully. Like it's a very nice mm, light medium kind of a concealer. Um, you know, it still leaves my under eyes nice and glowy. Provides, you know, a good amount of coverage for what I'm looking for. You guys, number one, this smell. It smells like sour paint. Like, I, I, like, I, I don't understand like how nobody's talking about how this smells like sour paint. Next of all, it smells like sour paint. And then like when I like do my concealer and I like leave it set, it kind of starts to sting slightly. And so I'm like, listen, I have tried like at this point, like seven or eight of these from different places, different times that I've ordered them, you know, whatever, going in person and getting stuff. And it still like stings. So like to me, I'm just like, okay, something seems a little bit off, but whatever um i think it's a nice concealer i know a lot of people rave about this and i will say it is nice i just don't like the whole like stinging thing that's just not my jam okay i don't have a new setting powder or a cream contour so i'm gonna go do that off of camera and then i will be right back i'm back i'm loving this foundation i think if you have dry skin um it's fantastic like it's it's just setting nicely even though i use like three pumps with most foundations like i can't do that so i love this I love the concealer minus the scent and the fact that it does sting after using it for a while. But let's go ahead and talk about the fact that my lower lash line is done. Okay, I did not realize that my camera was dead. So, um, I did just put some like purple here in the lower lash line and I put that sh uh, shimmer shade here in the inner corner. Let's go ahead and let's move on with the rest of the video. So first up, let's jump into bronzer. This is the L'Oreal Bronze Please in La Terra. This is the very first shade. So this is supposed to be the lightest shade. The pan size is huge. Like, that's my brush compared to the pan size. It's ginormous. I do love like the embossing on it. Like I think that's really pretty, but let's just see what kind of color this gives us it does bronze the skin out nicely i was a little bit nervous that it was going to be slightly too dark just because when you look at it in the pan um it does look really dark but i am able to just like easily just like go into it and it is beautiful and it's light there is the bronzer i really do for first impression wise really like this again it was super easy to use wasn't hard to go overboard overboard with and this just looks very like warm and sun-kissed and super nice let's do highlighter this is the glow from within from copacetic cosmetics in the shade flutter flight again it's kind of like a very like purplish green champagne kind of a shade on the brush it looks like you're not gonna get a whole lot like it's just going to be like very i don't know like glittery chunky kind of but as you can tell no, i definitely picked up enough on my brush to coat both sides of my face and then i'm gonna go do right here right here and a little bit right here no. so now let's go into the blush this is the uh color pop shot no no shook to the coral i think it's probably like that coral crush coral crut oh my mm. coral crush collection i think that's what the collection was called i'm gonna take it on my sephora blush brush and just like tap Ugh. it has the glitters in it and i i honestly like hate it when it has glitters in it but my skin just looks like very just like healthy and like very sun-kissed and i am loving that i'm living for this so far <clears throat> i'm like honestly loving every product that i have tried the only downside so far is one i don't like the flakies from the palette and two this glitter you can kind of see it all over my cheek area and i hate that but overall so far i am literally loving like everything else i um, we'll be trying out these bro bro fro yeah no no brow fro i don't know why i wanted to say bro but anyways bro oh my gosh i keep doing it brow fro so this is what it looks like um, it has a spoolie on one end which i can appreciate and then it has a very like fine tipped micro brow pencil 
Okay, that's kind of the shade, um, which I think is gonna be perfect for me. And then for the Brow Fro Gel, look, I didn't say bro, but I really had to think about it because I probably was gonna say like bro, is again, like this beautiful packaging. Okay, and this is like a very like tiny little brush. It does have quite a bit of product on it, so I am gonna kind of like scoop it out a little bit or like try to take it off so it's not quite so deep. And then let's just go right on through. Okay, so here are the brows, uh, you know, filled in with like the brow gel. Um, so I'm gonna go and I'm going to <clears throat> do my the rest of my brows um and then my like mascara and setting spray since i don't have anything new and then we'll come back and we will do the lips okay i am back let me just give you my thoughts on the brow products uh these are so nice this definitely does give like very nice precise brow hairs like i was actually able to create some brow hair brow gel i don't love as much as the pencil the only reason is because i hate it whenever i have to like I hate it when I have to like brush it off, like get, um, like get excess product. Okay, let me try this again. I hate when I have to try to get excess product off or then it like gets all over my eyes. I hate that. Um, just because, and in all fairness, I don't have a lot of natural brow hair, brow hair. Am I having a stroke? Like what is going on? Why can't I talk? holy shit okay let me like take a minute here to recompose myself and i will we'll be right back i think i'm back so with this <laughs> the only reason i don't like love it is i do have to like make sure i'm getting excess product off so it doesn't go everywhere i do not have a lot of brow hairs so it is easy for things like tinted brow gels to go real crazy real quick with my eyes just because there's not a lot of hairs for it to grasp to um but that's so that's not like a deal breaker because i do love the color it really does make my brows like nice and shaped and feathery so i do overall like this i think if you have like more brow hairs you will like this that we have which are the color pop lippy stick and lip liner okay i generally don't care for color pops lip liners just because they fall in the tube. Like, I hate that like, when they just fall in the tube. So let's just like start lining the lips. So here are the lips lined with that sow happy. It's like, it's like, I know they're trying to say like so happy, like S-O-W, but I feel like sow, I don't know. And then, okay, I'm just going to <laughs> say this. I have never tried a ColourPop lippy stick. It's like my first try at a lippy stick okay thoughts first it's creamy glides right on kind of has like a hmm, like a cocoa-ish kind of like scent taste to it in a way but like it's it looks nice i i like this i do enjoy this here we are for the finished look let me know what you guys think down below i was like so so happy with so happy with a so lip liner but um okay but anyways i was so happy with the um everything that i've tried like this look is absolutely breathtaking uh let me know your guys' thoughts below have you guys tried any things have you guys tried anything from copacetic cosmetics do you guys like the flakies i just the flakies are i just don't care for um, but everything else, like, I mean, it's, it's stunning. Let me know what you guys think down below. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.